Watch me, watch me, I got it. Watch me, I got it. Hey, I got something that makes me want to shout. I got something that tells me what it's all about. I got soul, and I'm super bad. Hello, boxing fans. I'm George Hansen, the Pope of Pugilism. Today, I have a very interesting fighter. Sing the Chinese bomber Vaughn, who's making his comeback or uh, return to the square circle. How you doing, Sing? Nice to meet you. Talk to me, man, about your whole career, man. Um, you, fought, you actually fought Danny Swift Garcia in the amateurs. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I had. I had Always had a love for boxing. Mike Tyson being one of the uh, guys that I admired and just saw his ferocity, just how he was just so destructive mm -hmm. in the ring. And I was like, wow, it's, it's just like, you know, I wanted to be like Mike Tyson growing up as a little kid. Okay. You know what I mean? So um, I just, I've always wanted to do the sport, but just being young and, and my parents being from another country you know just being foreigners it was just hard to have parents help guide me to to a sport that i wanted to do mm -hmm. so i never got started at the proper age you know until i actually got older and started at the age of 22. yeah and you, you started at marin anderson and yes. i'd be remiss if i didn't tell people adequate disclosure uh -huh. we had the same trainer yes charles cornbread ramey yes. who gave you the moniker the chinese bomber you fought Danny Garcia in the Golden Gloves. Mm -hmm. um, you took a somewhat of a little hiatus. You got married, had kids, started your real estate development company, mm -hmm. but now you're looking to get back into boxing. Why? Well, uh, boxing has always been, you know, like in my blood. Mm -hmm. it's, it's also always been a love, you know, a love of mine, and mm -hmm. I've always thought about it. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I have to say that you know, I, you know, the uh, wife and I has separated, and because of that, it's like when I go home, it's 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 I go home to an empty house. Mm -hmm. So I have to fill in that time with something, and I was like, what else is better than your than passion? Boxing? Yes. Okay. Exactly. So that's why I'm I'm back. Okay, so you're back, man. People were so impressed by your punching power, you had the Mike Tyson mentality, you went out there to search and destroy. And um, yes. it was kind of ironic, last Friday, I saw your ringside speaking to Danny Garcia, yes. who you fought an amateur, he was a ringside, Swift Garcia. Yes. What was that conversation like? Well, I mean, you know, I've, I've always had, uh, you know, respect for Danny, as, and, I, and I believe the same with me, with him. Uh, I remember when I started out in the amateurs, he was only no more than like, Mm -hmm. 12, 13, mm -hmm. and he, he remember watching me uh, do my thing in the ring, knocking guys out, winning tournaments. Mm -hmm. So once he hit the age of 17, you pretty much got to fight everybody. Right. So he had to fight me too, as well. But he mm -hmm. was really ranked number one in the country. Right. And uh, I fought my way in the uh, Golden Glove finals while he got a buy straight to the finals. Okay. So when I, I fought him in the finals, it was, it was a blast. I had fun. He had fun, we both you know, threw down, and I wish we could have did it again. Uh, maybe maybe in the pros, maybe one day. Okay, okay, you're back in the gym. You've yes. been back for several months. You're looking good. I saw you in sparring. You're sparring Thank you. bigger guys, mm -hmm. um, guys 168 mm -hmm. pounds, even though you're a junior welterweight, mm -hmm. and it's quite impressive, man. What's your time frame for going pro? Well, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's really up to my coach. You know, whatever he says goes, and my team. Uh, my main thing is just to get better. Uh, you know, I, the way I feel, maybe a few more amateur fights just to, you know, kick the rust. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much ready for the pros. Let's know? sing. I, I've seen you in action, man, the past couple of months. What was? <laughs> what was? Uh, the great Reverend yes. Elvin Thompson would say, okay. you can't eat trophies, son. Forget yes. about this amateur stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. Um, sometimes it's just to make sure that you know that you're ready. You know what I mean? Maybe you need that one fight just to say, you know what, I am ready. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's just a mental thing with me, but you know what? I really don't care. Pros, amateurs, I'm ready to fight. You're ready to fight. Um, 
assume you get that one amateur fight in the next month or so. Mm -hmm. What's the time frame? Can uh, Charles Ramey get the marketing material ready for the Chinese bomber? We've never had a Chinese fighter out of the city of brotherly love, the capital of box in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. We're going to flood Chinatown. Yes, for sure. I can't wait. But uh, time frame wise, I believe as soon as you know, uh, my coach and my team say, let's go, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready. You're ready? Yes. Okay, um, how big, let, let me say this, and a lot of people should know, you were born in China. Yes. You speak Chinese. Of course. Okay, can you tell the Chinese fans something in Chinese uh -huh. why they should come out and, and, and see you? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, as an Asian American in, in, in America, uh, we're kind of underrepresented, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's because it's just we're just a minority of minorities, mm -hmm. and I've always felt like 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 a man like Bruce Lee, how he just brought so much of his culture to America. Right. And it's like I feel that responsibility as well because mm -hmm. I grew up with um, only only person I could really say I looked up to that I could identify with was Bruce Lee because he was Chinese like myself, mm -hmm. but it was really passed through like 30 years ago mm -hmm. you know so it's like i just want to do something in, in, on on even on a l small level of what he's he has done so i can at least uh give some hope give some direction to okay. my younger generations and say hey if, if sing vaughn can do it i can do it too you can do it too and that's what i want for um uh, not just Asian kids, but just all kids. All you know kids, I mean? right? Because I, you know, I come from a poor background. I came, you know, my parents came here with uh, four kids. My oldest brother passed away, mm -hmm. um, and my parents see my parents uh, work hard, struggle, uh, work below minimum wage, more than fifteen mm -hmm. hours a day, discriminated against. It just made me see that I got to work hard. I can't let their hard work and them bringing us here to America go to waste. Sing, you sound like you're a Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> Almost so, identical story, you, you, Sing. You know what? Honestly, <laughs> we, people aren't different than each other, honestly. You know what I mean? We're all the same. It's just a shame that some people just don't realize that, you know? But, yeah, you sound like you were telling my story. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we are all the same. I don't care what color we, you are, where we come from. We're all the same. To mm. me, it's like... It's, 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 it's no different races in this world. It's actually just one race. It's mm -hmm. the human race. Right. You know, I love everybody. I don't care what you are. You know, the only thing with me is this. There's two type of people in this world. Good people and bad people. Okay. Yeah, so if you're bad, get away from me. If you're good, let's, let's rock and roll. But Sam, I'm looking at the marketing potential. Mm -hmm. Picture this. 2300 Arena. Yes. The Chinese Bomber mm -hmm. Pro Debut. Sing, I don't know about you, but trying to market you to a Chinese population is like trying to sell weed to Rastafarians. Okay. It's a no-brainer. <laughs> it's a product that everybody's going to buy. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, the main thing is just I have my talent manager, Madam Lin. She's been helping okay. me out. And I, I, I can't wait till she, she put the buzz where everybody's going to come out. It's not just Chinese people. It's, it's everybody. My thing is, I want to spread love. I want everybody to know that you know God is real. Right. Forget about religion, because religion sometimes divides mm -hmm. people. Let's just talk about God. We all know right. God exists, and let's just say that as long as we follow God's way, you know, we we all can make it to the promised land all together. White, black, Asian, Spanish, mm -hmm. Indian, and everybody else in between. It doesn't matter. And, and sing for as an immigrant myself, I, you're you're right. It it starts with a Chinese story, but the story of a an immigrant yes. coming to America, making the America want to give back. Yes. Plus, you have so much else. It's a Philly fighter. You are a Philly fighter. Yes, I am. And uh, it, man, it's a huge marketing potential. Um, I hope you get that first amateur fight so okay. Chris Tony and I can cover the Chinese boxer and uh, get a lot of sponsorship for Boxing 396. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Tell the fight fans here. Oh, last thing since I do this to everybody. When you win a world championship, you know you have to commit on camera to coming to Jamaica and leading a free, free boxing workshop. Okay. You got to say that. You got to say you're coming to Jamaica, see? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be everywhere. It's not just Jamaica. No, we got to get a commitment. I'm a lawyer. We got to get oh. it on film, yeah. on, on this, tape. Yeah, this is... This is Let the Jamaican this, fans this, know. This is on the record that you're going to have 
you know, uh, Mr. George Hansen here, who's helped me out in my quest as becoming a world champion uh, in boxing. That, you know, I make that promise on record that I will be there when, when the time comes. When the time comes, you'll be in Jamaica. Tell the fans why they should continue to watch Sing the Chinese Bomber Vaughn. It's because God, God's working through me, and because of God's ways, you know, it's going to, you can't, you, you got to watch it, because God makes everything happen. So that's, 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 that's that. Well, there you have it, folks. Sing the Chinese Bomber Vaughn out of the city of brotherly love. The man has committed on camera to come into Jamaica when he wins a world title to conduct a free boxing workshop. I'm making sure that's heard. Um, continue to watch this man. Um, he will be turning pro before this year is out. Thank you for watching Boxing 396. Have a great weekend and look out for Sing the Chinese Bomber Vaughn. Thank you. They come to the yacht stay for murder. I'm the lyrical gangster. Murder. Big up the crew in the area. Murder. Still.